Today's Make Tough video is Rape the New AIDS. In the 90s, rape was very common, and so was AIDS. A man could stick his dick in a vagina and actually die five years later from it. Rape is now being used by every woman out there for everything that she's ever done wrong to justify her behavior for doing wrong. Do I need to mention the taxi driver in Canada again with this $13? <laughs> Fucking whores. So is rape the new AIDS? That's the question. Let's look at it. Let's analyze it. <laughs> so, when you get accused of rape, you actually spend about a year being investigated by the police. After that is all done, you spend a couple of years later fighting the legal system. But after your fight is over, you are still left emotionally traumatized that you've actually been through this whole situation. That you've been dragged through it. <laughs> so for me, it's year three now, and it still messes up my head every single day. Probably will for another couple of years. It kills your soul, it kills your heart, it leaves you emotionally dead, it leaves you emotionally cold to other people's suffering. You, you feel like you're becoming, slowly, the monster they've been accusing you of. You're no longer kind, considerate, sweet, and nice. You become an asshole. And sometimes I think this world only wants assholes. That's the only thing they understand is men are assholes. That's how they treat men. Maybe we all should become assholes. If we are being treated like assholes, expected to be assholes, then why don't we just all become assholes? I just wrote to my lawyer in a letter tonight saying there are over 800 people on YouTube that agree with me and agree with my case, who've only heard partial parts of my case and who already agree with me. But the courts are being a pain in the ass right now. And I'll get into that in the next video. I'm not into that tonight. Point being, is AIDS the new rape? And is rape the new AIDS? Because when you think about it, a man loses his heart, his soul, and his mind. Which basically makes up everything that he was when he's falsely accused of rape. He spent so long defending himself and not being a monster that everybody's accusing him of, he almost becomes the monster to get through the situation that everybody's accusing him of. You have no idea how hard it is to fight that evil side in you that wants to go out and just blow up the courthouse, that wants to go blow up your ex-girlfriend, who wants to take shit and matters in your own hands. Every day I dream about taking things into my own hands. Every day. But I don't do it. There's no reward for me in not doing it, and sometimes I wish I'd just give in to it and do it. Become the monster they expect me to be. Become the monster they accuse me of being. My mom had an old story one time, and it went like this. When she was younger, she bought a rubber poop. And she brought it home. <laughs> and she laid it in the living room. And everybody laughed about it, knowing it was a fake poop. But one day, she laid it next to the dog, and the dog's master came home, and when he seen the poop in the living room, he kicked the dog. Nobody thought it was, he didn't really think it was that funny that a rubber poop was laying there, and he kicked his dog for it. The next day, the dog shit in the house on purpose, because he got kicked for it anyways, and the master came home, and he stepped in his shit saying, ha ha ha, is that rubber poop? And he stepped in it, and he had shit all over his shoes. When you accuse somebody of becoming the animal, becoming the monster, when you treat them like they are an animal and then they are a monster, they want to become an animal and a monster to give you what you want. Nobody is ready for me to become a monster, I guarantee it. If I become a monster, Obama will look like a fucking teddy bear. Believe that. There is a rage in me, an evil in me that I could release on the world. A heartless one, too. Don't think just because I'm a Christian, that means that I'm a goody-goody. As a matter of fact, I'm more of a Christian to restrain my evil side. Many Christians are like that. <laughs> Don't treat me badly, or I will kill you. 
I've had enough of this world. I've had enough of the way people have treated me. I'm fed up. I'm very angry inside. More angry than any man should ever have to be. I understand all the guys suffering out there in the world today who could not get any justice done in the court system whatsoever. I understand. That's why I'm here, trying to help other guys through it. I understand what the pain feels like. It's indescribable. Nobody can even really describe it to you unless they've gone through it themselves. It's, it's such a unique pain. It's kind of like a pain mixed up heartache with sorrow and this feeling of not even being a human being. Because no matter what you say, no matter what you do to prove yourself right, they don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck if you're right. They don't care. They just want you to be wrong. They just want to get you on something. They don't care how right you are. I've seen it firsthand. You know, when you're going to such a situation as this, you become really smart. You, you go into survival mode. So you start protecting things you never protected before. And you go out of your way to make sure that the legal system doesn't go down that road, or goes down that road, or goes down that road, but they go down the road that you specifically pick out, or the one that your accuser picks out. There's two roads, yours and your accusers. But the courts love to do everything possible to take something that happened in your past, like maybe 20 years ago, where you stole a candy bar in the store, and they go, See? Tendency to steal. Tendency to steal. They are completely psychotic, man. Completely. I mean, I knew there was corruption in the courts and in the police, but I really thought that in the really high Supreme Courts, there wouldn't be that much corruption. Boy, was I wrong. It seems like the higher up you go, the more corruption there is. Back to his rape, the new AIDS. Like I said, AIDS killed you in five years after you had sex with a woman. But now... After you have sex with a woman, she can call you a rapist. You spend a year being investigated, three, four years putting your emotional state back together and then picking up your life again. Plus, let alone how everybody thinks about you now because this little fucking slut went out and painted your name black all over the world. All for shits and giggles for her amusement. I have all the evidence in the world to prove that she's guilty. But they don't care. They don't give a flying fuck that she's guilty. They don't care. All they want is my ass in jail. And I guess that's so I can become a part of the slave labor union. Where I spend my day putting license plates together for 25 cents an hour. Right? That's what it seems like. They don't give a fuck about men. And that angers me to a point that I say, okay, let's grab our guns, let's grab our torches, and let's go after these fuckers, man. I'm not a guy that sits down and takes it. I'm not a guy that rolls over and takes it. I'm a guy that gets even, who gets more than even. Universal Studios 13 knows exactly what I'm talking about. They took his kids away from him. His wife was a slut too, and she took his kids away from him. I know how he feels. I know every day he wants to wake up and slit that woman's throat and take his kids back and run away with them. I know how that feels. I might not know about how it feels with the kids, but I have other things invested in my life. But I understand that he's also been sexually uh, accused as well. I know how that feels. They want to turn you into a monster and you fight every single day not to become that monster they're accusing you of. Every day. Every fucking day you wake up in the morning angry. And then you think about why you're angry. A and you have to sit there and go, Shit man, they are trying to turn me into a monster. And they're succeeding also. It's very hard to stay sane when everybody's trying to point a gun at you and say, become a monster or we're going to shoot you. Become who we think you are. You are who we think you are. Even though they have no evidence, no proof, no st real story, nothing. And even though you've proven your innocence time and time again, they don't care. They have a stereotypical point of view of what a male is and they stick to that point of view no matter what male it is. No matter if you're a good male or a bad male, they see all males as bad. This is Word on Fire. See you all later. Knowledge is power.